So the first thing we're going to talk about is defining values, mm -hmm. right? And uh, who you are, where you are, and where you're trying to get to. So everyone has a value system. And the important thing about having a value system is it guides your money philosophy. Yeah. Right? So if certain things are a priority to you, then that's likely where your money is going to go. Mm -hmm. So start with what is important and define your value system. Um, but if, how do we define our values? Because here, very many of us, our values are as a result of the values that were taught to us. Yeah. When we were younger, in our families, in the church, any communal kind of meeting or gathering mm -hmm, setup, mm -hmm. then we picked our values from that. Sometimes it's a journey where, as we adults, yeah. like you were saying earlier, before going on camera, yeah. sometimes um, there are things you want to keep on going mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. and there are things that you want to drop. So how then do we define our values around finances and the friendships that we have? So the values I'm talking about are not just like around fin finances. Like mm -hmm. if you have a value system in life, it's almost like your compass, mm -hmm. like your values guide you. So money, family is going to be guided by those values. Uh, for many of us, your values can come from your faith, right? Like uh, this is, to me, the most important thing is God. Mm -hmm. That's your value system. Um, so is that going to be, that's the compass in your life and dictates how you make uh, decisions, right? So if you, there's no shortcut to defining your value system. If saying these are the top five most important things in my life and like be honest with yourself don't go saying the most important thing in my life is god when the most important thing in your life is money because then you will struggle there's the there's, hierarchy man there's yeah the hierarchy like, matter. Be, it, it can matter for yeah. some people because then um if you say the most important thing in your life is your faith in god but you never cultivate your faith for example yeah then you're lying to yourself and if you're lying about the most important thing so how honest are you with yourself for the rest? I, I like that. Things? I like that point. Yeah. Honest with yourself. Yeah. Because very many of us desire and mm -hmm. there's a tendency to want to fit in. Any space you walk into, you want to be known as the lady or the man who uh, puts God first. Yeah. But truly, you either put your family first or etc. And for some people, maybe excellence yeah. and quality is like their defining thing in life. Mm -hmm. Like in everything I do, it has to be excellent. It has to be really good mm -hmm. and that's what i aspire for every day if i'm gonna be a mom i'm gonna raise my children in excellence if i'm gonna be a businesswoman then excellence is like my guiding uh, factor yeah so then you have like the, the important like that there's things you tell other people and there's things you tell yourself and you know within yeah yourself the things you tell yourself are more important mm -hmm. because then it's a reflection of how you navigate the day to day life, the conversations you have with yourself. Mm -hmm. So when I talk about a value system, that's what guides you now with deciding where your money goes, what it does. If you want to think of a person who's really good in communications, then because she's very excellent, I will consider her. And money starts coming in that way. Yeah. But also because I believe in excellence, how do I spend my money in a good way? I think I really like what you're saying. So yesterday yeah. when I was in karate, because that's something oh. you're taking. <laughs> I didn't even know you did karate. <laughs> she does a lot of things. I do. <laughs> like physical <laughs> things. <laughs> Try out twenties. We're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do everything uh -huh. that you possibly can. Yeah. So when I was in, in karate, college. I was learning that so there are five rules or rather things that you say before you begin your class. Mm -hmm. So there's number one, number two, number three. But then they're not said, you don't recite them as number one, number two. They're five, but you say number one, number one, number one. So I think when you're establishing your values, I, I, I'd want to encourage people as well as myself to take that approach. I think you can establish what are the five really important yeah, things. Yeah. Like there's God, there's excellence, there's this, there's that. And all these five are important, yeah. but there are different times when you will give different priority. Mm -hmm. For to, instance, yeah. to each one of them. Yeah. For instance, for a mother, she wants to bring up her kids in a certain way. So Monday to Friday, for a, she might want to be the one to cook for them breakfast and prepare breakfast for them. But then at what time does she devote herself or what time will a young person devote themselves to praying? Probably they set aside time 
in the evening or in the afternoon mm -hmm. when there isn't mm -hmm. too much mm -hmm. noise around them. Yeah. It's not that when you woke up you did not value faith or yeah, yeah, your relationship yeah, with ETC. Yeah. So I think that would be the better approach. And the thing is like you have to find it for yourself. Yeah. So it's not like you're, you're, the reason I said the value system is when you meet older people, they already have their, their value, value systems. System, yeah. And that's how they have lived life. Mm -hmm. So there are people we admire and we want them to like walk in their footsteps, right? But always remember that life is generally also your own journey. Mm -hmm. And because they have their value system, you're not gonna walk in someone's life and you want to have the exact same, same value yeah. system without knowing what were the guiding principles mm -hmm. for me to decide to live my life yeah. like this. We might we all dealt with different cards, so develop a value system based on your cards, right? Yeah. Some people come from like old money, it's like family money. Yeah. So you can't wake up one day and you're like, exactly, everything you have, I want, right? Yeah. And you want something that's been in the family for a hundred years. Yeah. It's, it's not necessary. So like define yourself uh, and your like family, your values. Define your own values for yourself, so that as you meet older people. You sort of have a concept of you won't achieve it in your 20s and you keep adjusting these values by the way but at least you have a starting point yeah so as you meet people they are older yes but if they don't match what you're trying to become or your value system you don't necessarily have to be around those people yeah in the so that's where we're addressing the fitting the, in yeah with, yeah, you, yeah. Know, you don't need to fit in you don't, fit you don't always have to fit in it's a okay to yeah and there are those friendships that come for a season mm -hmm. and there are those that are long term so eventually your value system will enable you to navigate yeah. what and who do I want to keep yep. and who do I feel like mm -hmm. it's time to let go. Yeah. Okay, the second one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was that was important, it felt weighty. <laughs> um, so the second one is the need to read about money 